everyone, and welcome back to Moss Tree Village! Oh my gosh, I am so in love with this village. I can't believe how much we've changed it already, planting so many trees, planting so many flowers. I have kind of moved around where some of my flowers are in front of my house. I really, really, really love these lilies, but if I'm honest with myself, I probably love the irises and actually, believe it or not, the dandelions more. So I'm not really sure how we're going to sprinkle the flowers around, but now we happen to have the brand new... Oh gosh, I didn't know I could do this. Oh, that's so cool. I just opened up my map in a new way. I was going to try to show you guys Main Street where we have the new garden shop that Leaf has some things for sale at. And we got our watering can yesterday. And I'm actually going to start leaving like half of our supplies inside of the house every day so that we've got a little bit more inventory room. So here's our new watering can. And we got this watering can from Leaf yesterday because he opened up his garden shop. And that made me so excited and so happy. We also have our fishing rod over here. Here. and our little goldfish oh hi little sweetie I wish I had some food to give you oh yeah and then just a second before I welcomed you guys into my village I actually had a rock show up right in front of my front door and I knew because it showed up overnight that it was a rock that didn't belong there and sure enough it was full of the gemstone so now we have an emerald gemstone so we have an emerald we have some sapphires we have this silver nugget piece right here and I'm pleased as punch about that that's just so fun and let's see last time when you guys weren't with me I just caught a few bugs I sold a few of the bugs that I caught and we also got this airy tea for taking back a t-shirt that Blanche left over at Tabby's house so I'm really excited so far it seems like the villagers we're becoming closest to are Tabby and Blanche and I would really like to get close to Aurora as well I kind of want to go for forest creatures I hear there's a deer that we could possibly have move into our village how fun would that be but for creatures um, and maybe some of the birds especially those are some of my favorite animals so we'll try to see who we can attract here but let's go ahead and see what the airy tea looks like oh this is nice okay I, I think I'm all right though it was a very nice thought at least so Blanche gave us that as a gift for giving her a delivery I think we'll go ahead and we'll actually sell it hopefully she won't take it like personally or anything like that oh and actually I need to go back inside because today we have permission for a development permit we're gonna go and talk to Isabel up in town hall for permission for development permit but it just reminded me that because we have that permission I know we're probably gonna need some bells to fund our town project so for today we're gonna switch into our little mayor outfit outfit right here so we're, or we're gonna switch out of our mayor uniform and we're gonna put on not display oh fooey I, I hit the wrong thing again <laughs> oh Siri why do you always do that we're gonna gather up our peaches and I'm gonna leave behind my mayor outfit so I'm gonna go ahead and wear my chef's outfit Dun, dun, dun And we are wearing the chef's outfit so that I will be able to make some fresh peach jam. That's what I like to say for the sake of fun little immersion. Okay, we're going to go ahead and display our little alpinist dress. I'll be back for you, my wonderful, wonderful, adorable little outfit. And then what should I wear in my hair when we're gathering up peaches to make peach jam? I think maybe something white. So maybe a white rose. I don't know. That would have like thorns right up against my ear. Uh, maybe this cosmos? Maybe. Let's go ahead and swap out. Because I like the idea of swapping flowers. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and wear it. Perfect! Perfect, perfect. This looks like a great outfit to make some peach jam in. And then we can go ahead and plant the purple violets. Oh gosh, they're so pretty. I can't wait to get more violets. Violets are one of my weaknesses and flowers I really like. And now we're ready, you guys. Okay, so now we can go around town and we can gather up our peaches. We also can sell off these extra bugs. I don't think those are any bugs that we need. Hmm, I'm pretty sure those aren't any bugs that we might need to give to the museum. But I might want to double check on that. All right, and we've got more perfect peaches. Oh, this is fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and gather these up. I probably want to plant some more perfect peach trees, but then again, if we have some huge projects to work on, mm, I don't know, maybe it's better for our bells if we just go ahead and save up every perfect peach right now. And then we can plant more perfect peach trees as time goes on, and we can make perfect- Look, there's another perfect peach tree ready to harvest! We're gonna be so rich! I mean, technically, we could plant them right now, and then probably make a ton of money. But I think we might keep like a basket of perfect peaches inside of my house actually because that would be a pretty cool decor piece and kind of show off That's how we're trying to fund our town is making perfect peach jam. 
All right, let me make sure I'm not gonna run out of room here. All right, there we go. Putting together all the peaches into peach baskets. That's so cute. I love the idea of being able just to collect so many peach baskets and make peach jam. Oh, I almost left a perfect peach behind. No, no perfect peach left behind. We need to make sure they all come with us. And I probably need to plant some perfect peaches up by the town hall. All right, so any more, oh, there's a weed. We'll go ahead and yank that up. And we'll go ahead and wiggle this. I'm so proud that we got a town approval rating of, do do do, swap, swap, swap. I'm so proud that we managed to snag, oops, okay, I guess I can't go ahead and scooch those things around right now. An approval rating already. I really didn't expect to get the approval rating that quickly, but I guess our villagers are pretty happy with the work I'm doing, and that means a lot. All right, so let's gather up lots and lots of these peaches, and then we can sell them for lots and lots of money. Oh no, I chased away like a mantis off that rose. Oh, and speaking of roses, if we have time, I do want to do a little bit of a gardening project where we gather up the different flowers and start sorting them into different gardens in the village. All right, Blanche, let's go talk to her. Oh, she's one of my favorite villagers. I really love her, actually. How's your, how's your little grasshopper we gave you? Hello there, Siri. Running into you is always a nice surprise, quite so. What would you like to talk about, Siri? How are you doing today, Blanche? I've been trying to get my hands on a hammerhead shark, but I just can't catch one. They're fairly common, so would you mind catching a shark for me? I'll give it my best go, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I already disappointed Caesar by not being able to catch the... <laughs> by not being able to catch the, um... Oh gosh, like, Caesar, I know, is disappointed in me because he wanted to get a pale chub, and those are, like, really common, and I still couldn't manage to find it. All right, let's make sure we've got our little baskets, our peach baskets already. Oh, I guess that peach basket, basket is full. All right, go ahead and grab this. See, and I have all of these peach trees lined up at the back of Town Hall because I figured, hey, you know, we need to show off that peaches are kind of our thing in this town. Oh no, I pulled up that clover. I didn't want to pull up that clover. I really love clovers. <laughs> and a few of you guys have told me, but Siri, the clovers are actually considered weeds in the town. And I, I don't want to hear that. No, clovers are so pretty. They're so lucky. They're what you want bees to be able to eat. All right, wow, look at all the peaches. It's peach jam day. Hopefully I'm gonna have tons of money from this. All right, let's see, is this gonna help? Let's grab these and let's grab these. Hopefully this will be just like tons and tons of money and then we can really get some town ordinances passed because Isabel is waiting for us inside of Town Hall right now so that we can talk about customizing our town and making it the beautiful leafy forest full of delicious jam and a fantastic museum that I'm dreaming of. All right, that should be good for now. All right, nice! Look at all those peach baskets! Ah, oh, it's so worth it to plant some of your peaches. In fact, I probably should plant a perfect peach tree. Probably right here, maybe? Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and try planting a perfect peach tree right here. Right there. That looks like a good spot. I want to have at least- oh, well, I don't have an extra perfect peach. Never mind! <laughs> I want to have at least one perfect peach somewhere nearby, but we can wait. We can wait for now. All right, let's go inside and let's talk to Isabel. You can see where I actually collected some roses to the left, by the way, and I've started a little rose garden next to Town Hall, too. We'll make the gardens look a lot nicer as time goes on as well. All right, so we have the we have the permission for town development. Let's talk about it, Isabel. Oh, Mayor Siri, I've been waiting for you. You're finally ready to start working on improving Moss Tree. As mayor, you have two primary ways to influence the growth of Moss Tree. The first is ordinances. By enacting ordinances, you can change the way Moss Tree is run. Of course, you can't enact just any old ordinance you feel like enacting. That would make you a dictator. Instead, you're able to choose an ordinance out of a list provided to you. Try to choose ordinances that match up with the lifestyle and needs of Moss Tree's residents. The second way is to exercise your mayoral power is, to start, is by starting public works projects. Public work projects add buildings and features to Moss Tree. I've already taken the liberty of putting together a list of requests from the town citizens. Is there, if there is a request that really speaks to you, please select it to begin development. That's all I have for you right now, but when you decide to start on either of those, I'll explain further. When you'd like to work, yep, just sit in my chair. Oh, that's so exciting! Isabel, let's talk about this. She's so adorable the way she's always so organized. All right, let's go ahead and look at the ordinances. Okay, let's work on ordinances. At present, there are no ordinances in effect in Moss Tree. To enact an ordinance, oh, it's a little bit expensive. Okay. Can I at least see what they are before I have to spend the money? <laughs> no. <laughs> on hand. 
<laughs> Before I can even look at the forms. Okay, so let's look at the public work projects. All right, let's explain. So we choose a project from the list of requests that citizens have made, and then we go in search of a place to build it, and then we uh, raise the construction funds by asking for donations, and then once we have enough, we'll be able to build something. Wonderful, and we can only work on one project at a time. All right, let's see what the current request from the villagers are. A cobblestone bridge. <gasps> That's so cute. A suspension bridge. A yellow bench. Oh, look at the cobblestone. I like the cobblestone bench a lot. A little water well. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Look at all these things. Wow. A water well. A fountain. Oh, that's beautiful. Park clock. Street lamp. You can have a little campsite. That's perfect for a little forest. You can have a little fenced in area. A fire hydrant. A custom design sign. A do not enter sign. Um, I really like the little campsite actually that that actually really speaks to me. Let's let's go ahead and choose that one You won't be able to demolish the campsite project campsite project once it's finished. Shall we start? Um, I don't know if I know the right place to put a campsite yet though actually so let's just hold off on that then All right, I think we're good then all right So I know I need to have a ton of money, which is a good thing that we're making peach jam then <laughs> And I know that we need to make sure our citizens are happy. So, oh, I need to catch a hammerhead shark for... <laughs> I just remembered I needed to catch a hammerhead shark. Oh my gosh. All right. So I think we've done a very good job. Do I have the bug net? I sure do. Come back here, little guy. Oh, he got away. All right. Well, that's fine. But we need to make sure we do a good job at gathering up money then. So let me gather up a few more peaches. And we'll sell all of this peach jam and see how much how much money we can snag. Then we might go up. Uh, I haven't seen any fossils, actually. I was thinking we might go up and turn in, like, everything to the museum that we have on us. Oh, Blush, how are you doing? I love her little footprints, our little bird footprints. It's so cool. So what did you want, Siri? Oh, that's right. I said I'd catch you a hammerhead shark. I'm sorry. Okay, we'll go see if we can catch her a hammerhead shark after we sell all of this stuff. Because that sounds like a good idea. We might take a peek at the Nooklings place too and just see what they have for sale today and maybe buy some stuff from a leaf too. All right, Reese, you and I are gonna work on my secret jam recipe. So let's see how much she's gonna give us in exchange for all of this peach jam that I just made. Only not my perfect peaches. Not, not those ones, Reese. All right, let's see. And then actually I think I need to sell her some of the extra bugs, but we'll see. Only 3,000 pals, okay. You know what, that's better than nothing, because it was just from Peach Jam. Wonderful, all right, bye Reese. All right, and she just still doesn't have anything new, which is interesting to me, because I thought she was supposed to like rotate stuff pretty frequently, but maybe not, that's okay. All right, and then we're gonna go, okay, we're gonna go around, I already, oh, there's a new little note. Okay, let's see what the new little note says. This Saturday at the big bug off. At least, <laughs> at last, it's finally here. Catch the rarest bugs and go for the gold trophy. What? Oh, I'm gonna have to remember that. A big bug off festival? That would be so fun. I wonder if Chatter would enjoy it because Chatter did want to have something where we would do more events. All right, so let's go see what the Nooklings are selling today. I like having different outfits too. That's really fun. Different outfits that we can wear for each occasion. All right, let's see what's going on inside of this Nooklings shop. And then maybe I'll put down some money towards what I owe Nook. All right. Hello, Tommy. How are you doing? Oh, gosh. What is this, Tommy? Is this like a scoreboard? It is a scoreboard. Uh, I'm, I'm all right right now. Thank you, Tommy. How about, you know what? I'm going to go next door and look at plants. There's a hint, plants. That's something I really enjoy. And a little arcade machine. That's adorable. I just love all of the random stuff that you can find. It's just so freaking cute. All right. And I think I do want to put down a little bit of money towards my new house. And let's come over here. Hi, little birdies. And let's see what's in Leaf's shop. I'm so excited. New plants every day. Leaf, oh, there's an ax, Leaf, that's perfect. I mean, it's a little threatening, but I definitely need it. That'll be really good for clearing away some of the trees that I wanna kinda of get out of the place. Yes, let's go ahead and buy it. There we go. And then let's look at the leaves, or the flowers. Purple violet bag, okay, yep. Oh, I love how he says it's all happy. Is that like kind of like a Bob Ross reference? Because that's adorable. Leaf, you're so cute. Red tulips. Yes, please. I would love to start a little tulip garden. All right, let's go ahead and buy it. There we go. 
I hope that we spend lots of money here and he'll be very, very happy. All right, goodbye. And I don't know, we'll, we'll go look in at Abel and see what the Abel sisters have in terms of uh, like their, their clothes they have for sale today. It's really fun to see what kind of random things are available in my little town. Oh, it's kind of the same as last time. Oh, and Aurora is visiting. Aurora, how are you? Oh, hi. Did you find anything fancy to wear, baby? So what can I do for you? Everything looks so good on the mannequins, doesn't it? I never know what to buy. Oh, she's having a good time then. All right, so there's a few things that are the same. A few things that are a little different. I really think that's kind of adorable. What would that look like on me? The hat and shirt. Oh, it's pretty cheap. I'd just like to try it on just to see how it would look. I can't see because Aurora's in the way. <laughs> no, no, I'm okay, I'm okay. Oh, that's really adorable. And then there's this, this looks kind of cool. Skill armor suit, historical style. <gasps> so you could look like a Viking. Can I try it on? That would be something fun to fish in. Doesn't it look like you're ready to wrestle sharks then? Cute and boyish and cute. Oh man, I kind of want to get it so I can go fishing in it. Uh, I'm going to take it. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I did that. But I think I'm going to fish in my scale suit. Oh wait, can I get pants? Like shorts actually? Maybe I should get a pair of shorts and then we could go fishing like with our scale suit and shorts. So do they sell shorts? I should probably check. And then I think I am going to go to see if we can find a hammerhead. And it's another long day. I'm sorry. I'm just so excited to be here. All right. Let's go ahead and see if I can get a pair of shorts. Oh, hey. Baseball pants. Uh, can I try it on? Um, they could pass for... They could pass for bottoms to the fishing outfit. So I'll take it. For the sake of having the, the fishing outfit. And actually, I really love the fact that the more money you spend in your different shops, the more you can help the shops be upgraded. So it's not like you're just kind of throwing money out the window for no reason. You really are helping things along. Oh, look, you could have like a little pirate eye <laughs> or a little Viking helmet while you're fishing. How much is this? I bet it's a bazillion dollars. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's really that cheap? Can I try it on? And have like a whole new fishing outfit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I can't help it. I'm going to do it. I have a whole fishing outfit now. I have no room to put it in my house. I'm out of money now. That was pretty silly. But I actually really love the idea of having a whole proper fishing outfit. And it's all based around being like a little fishing viking. How cool is that? All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to run over here. I'm going to put down some money towards my house, which you do in the post office. I think there's like a little ATM or something that you do it at. Hello. Okay. And then welcome. All right, we're going to go ahead and repay my loan. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and put down 10,000 bells. Confirm. Yay. That took off like almost a fourth of it. So that was pretty good. Man, I just love how alive this little village feels already. Ah, wonderful. All right, well, I don't need to have nook wave things that I can't even afford around in my face. And I'll go ahead and turn in some items to Blathers. And then I think we might go ahead and jump over to Blathers. Excuse me. And then we might run down, we'll try on like our fishing outfit and I might do some fishing. So I'm going to go ahead and turn some things into him. Okay, let's make a donation. And then I'll meet you guys down. Oh, yes. Okay, so the peacock butterfly. I knew there was something that we needed to give. There you go, Blathers. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and let him have the bug. And then I'll meet you guys down at the beach in just a second to see if we have any luck whatsoever with getting that shark. Huh. I wonder what this is. I was working my way down to the beach in my awesome new Viking fishing outfit, by the way. And there's a book lying here. And I really have no idea what this book is about. I didn't know you could just find like random books lying on the ground. So that's actually kind of exciting. Let's go ahead. A lost. Oh, it's a lost item. What? Somebody dropped this. Maybe I should look for the owner and return it. <gasps> That's so cool. I wonder if it was Tabby because Tabby lives near here. Oh gosh. And there's, oh gosh, who is that? There's a new person here. Let's go introduce ourselves and spook him because I'm wearing my Viking outfit. Oh, hi. You're Siri, right? Nice to meet you. I'm Tammy. I just moved here and I heard all about you. 
Yeah, you're the one who's gonna put Mastery on the map. Good meeting you, Siri. You heard? You heard? Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's so cute! Yo, Siri. You get around, eh? You heard? You lose this? And did you lose this? My new friend? New Tammy friend? I'm gonna have to try really hard not to get you mixed up with Tabby. Uh, nope, this isn't mine. Ask around some more, okay? Alright, thanks so much for listening. Oh my goodness, look, there's more dandelions! Okay, let's see if there's anything right here. New fossil. And we're gonna go ahead, we'll look for the owner of this lost item. But we also need to go down and see if I can have any luck catching a hammerhead shark. Because <laughs> somehow I've gotten roped into- Ah, oh, no! Somehow I've gotten roped into promising my favorite villager that I'm going to get her a hammerhead shark. No, the pitfall seed! I don't want the pitfall seed! Can I get rid of it? Can I go ahead and just like bury it and then like activate it? Is it gonna cause any problems if I activate it? I know, I know. It's kind of it kind of is fussy to fall into, but, but then we get out of it. All right, that's fine. Better I activate it. That's what I, I take on for the sake of my villagers. All right, and let's go ahead and see if we're gonna have any luck being a good Viking fisher here at the high seas in my village. And I've actually, I don't think I've ever fished at the beach before, so let's see if we have any luck. Where would I find fishies? Am I just gonna find them um, randomly walking along the edge of the beach? I mean, there's lots and lots of coral and stuff that I could sell. Maybe I should wear my viking outfit. Oh, there's a fish. Maybe I should wear my little viking outfit when we gather up the seashells. That would be so fun! Alright, come on. Come on, little fishy. Come get it. Oh! Alright, let's see if this is a shark or not. It's a boot! <laughs> no! Oh, no. Alright, I'm gonna have to get rid of that boot. So, it was a boot, not a shark. Oh, jeez, that guy's huge! Am I gonna have any luck with you? Come here, buddy. Come on. There must be some bait, like, right in front of your mouth. Come on, buddy. Turn around. Look at this yummy stuff. Fishing is gonna take me a little while to get the hang of, I think. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. Let's see if this is gonna be a shark. Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 but I might try to catch him anyway, just to see what he is, and maybe, like, donate him to the museum at least. Can you donate a boot to the museum? I don't think you would be able to. Technically, it could be considered, like, an artifact. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on! Alright, what'd I catch? Oh, he's so cute! A horse mackerel! Oh my gosh, he's adorable. We'll have to learn a little bit more about him as time goes on. Alright, so... Any shark shark. I don't know if, like, you can just catch a hammerhead, like, any old hammerhead. Oh gosh, there's lots of fish over here, but they look really small and I imagine you have to be pretty big I think she was kind of fibbing when she said that a hammerhead shark is a common thing. Oh Look at this fish Another mackerel and maybe you have to catch it at like a certain time Maybe eventually one of the things I could have is like seasonal a seasonal fish display Once we get the museum updated enough that I can have my own display rooms. That would be so fun. Come here. Come here fish. All right, we're gonna have a lot of holy mackerels to sell. Horse mackerel, holy mackerel! All right, let's see. We're gonna search up along the side. See if I can find a shark. I don't think we're gonna be able to find one. I think she was being a little bit over ambitious, saying that sharks are a common thing that one is able to snag from along our beaches. So, but I did my due diligence. I did my best. I came down. I got an entire outfit dedicated specifically for fishing and patrolling the beaches. Oh, that guy's kind of big. All right, maybe maybe you're a shark. Oh gosh, there's two of them now. They both just kind of appeared there at the same time. I think you have to like throw your little lure right in front of their little mouths to try to encourage them. Come here, come here, come here. Don't don't swim off. Don't swim off. Come back here. All right, to try to encourage them to come and bite on it. Come here, buddy. There you go. Now he's getting the hang of it. Come on, buddy. Are you a shark? Oh, let's see if he's a shark. Oh my goodness. It's a tire? <gasps> oh, man. All right. Well, we're gonna give it like one more good go if this little guy wants to eat my bait. Come here, come here. 
And we'll see what he is. At the very least, we're getting a lot of museum donations. Come on. And what are you? Oh, it's a puffer fish. How cool is that? Oh, I... All right, still looking for that proper fish. Sorry about that. I got overexcited and I thought I was taking a picture and I actually <laughs> actually turned the recording off. But we've so far just found puffer fish and we found a few sea bass. But no, no hammerhead. So I'm really thinking that our wonderful friend was a little bit over ambitious in thinking that there were actually the hammerhead sharks available. So <sighs> I'm not going to be able to find her the hammerhead shark that she wanted, I don't think. And I feel a little bit bad about that because I really like her as a villager and I don't want her to leave. And I don't want to disappoint her with things like that I can't do. But we did our best. We did our due diligence. I'm really proud about our Viking outfit, actually. And I'm really excited we caught so many fish. So I'll donate those. Oh my gosh, it's a lionfish! <gasps> oh no, it's a zebra turkey fish! That didn't... That actually... Oh no, I did it again! <laughs> There we go, a butterfly fish. I'm so sorry, you guys. We've done a bit of fishing and I was showing it off and I kept hitting the wrong buttons because I was so excited about the fish. But we have caught several fish. We've got some puffer fish. We've got zebra turkey fish, butterfly fish, horse mackerel, a lot of sea bass. We caught a boot and an old tire. But unfortunately, we did not manage to find the hammerhead shark. The common hammerhead shark. It's just it's just everywhere, she said. I wasn't able to find that here. So I'm not sure if it's really uh, like as common as she says, or maybe it's super rare, or maybe only available at a certain time. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to let, let down my friend. So Siri, do you believe in UFOs quite so? Uh, yes, of course. I'm with you, Siri. I've seen UFOs late at night when everything is quiet. Oranges! Unidentified oranges. Hmm? What's the F stand for, quite so? Floor, of course. I don't know who they belong to or how they get on my floor, but I do eat them, quite so. Oh gosh, that's hilarious. All right. Well, I've got plenty of things to take care of. I'm going to sell all of our extra fish. I'm going to take our other fish up to the museum. Sorry about the, like, diving in and out of recording. I just was so overexcited. I kept, like, hitting the wrong button and when I was like, look at this fish, look at this fish. And we'll have to see if we can find who the lost item belongs to. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.